This is Daisy. Welcome to Midmog. I'm a Philippine traveler who loves to explore with my hobby. Here we are again for our daily adventure updates. We are living the world that everyone judge us. I know that people judge us based on what they say or kung ano lang ang nakikita nila without even thinking or knowing what is the whole story of it. Ganun naman talaga ang buhay. Hindi naman tayo nabubuhay na walang judgment, diba? Yes, my boyfriend and I loves adventure. We love to travel together, pero hindi sabihin noon ay successful na kami sa buhay. We're just doing adventure as a couple goes. Ini-enjoy pa namin ang mga oras na magkasama kami kahit minsan lang. We just decided to isa- set aside muna ang problema at mag-enjoy na muna. Because we both know bukas at sa mga susurang pang arapan ni Bangong Hamo na pagsubok ng buhay ay muli namin nga harapin. What truth about life is kung sino pa yung mahirap, siya pa yung mas naghihirap at kung sino pa yung mayaman, ay siya pa yung mas yung mayaman. Huwag kang matakot sumumbog, lagi mong tandaan na ang pagkatalo ay isang silbing ara sa mga karanasan mo at doon tayo natututo. Tandaan lang palagi na kung wala sa iyo ang bagay na gusto mo, mas mabuting gustuhin mo ang bagay na mayroon ka ngayon. Sa ganito natin mahanap ang makikita ang tunay na saya. Kitang niyo ba ang bagay na yan? Yan ang tinatawag na win-win. A wind fin is an instrument that measures the direction from the wind is blowing. They are sometimes cold weather vents that were a common sight on top of barns and churches in the past. There's always something special about adventure into unknown and real experiencing the world. There's a trick into the mountains, a cycle around through of roads and many more. And this kind of travels together you could see as essential and benefits your physical, mental and emotional state. The vague thing or parts of adventure is to spend our time together. Remember, spending time together doing outdoor activities like walking, hiking, or traveling, and so many more things that can reduce the stress. All the stresses of life just melt away as we travel among the stunning scenery. Yes, totoo yan na kapag nasa ibang bansa ka, hindi mo madaling malabanan ang takot at pangungulila. And you can escape the homesickness. Kaya saludo ako sa mga nangingibang bansa para maghanap buhay para sa pamilya nila. Kaya nalang tiising lahat ng hirap at pagod pangungulila para lang makamta ng mga pangarap na ninanais nila para sa pamilya nila. Going to or traveling to a new place can give me a total attitude of adjustment. I appreciate my hubby's effort even though he always busy, he still find a way to spend time with me. To my mind, the greatest reward and luxury of travel is to be able to experience everything as it for us the very first. Our office moment and stories always seem to come when it was stumbled upon one thing while in pursuit of something else. I always think that adventure is one of the best gifts that my hubby can give to me after all these stressful days. Good travel in strange place is pretty amazing because traveling is when creativity comes into play in do your daily communications. I just share about our venture together not to invade everyone but to give them a place of hope that every couple goes is not always ended. So today we went to Tower Hill here in Australia. The great ocean route that only you can see the emo koalas and kangaroo. The Amos space is a flightless bird endemic to Australia where it is the largest native bird. It is only an extant member of the genus Drumanius and the second tallest living bird after its African native relative the common ostrich. Amos have soft brown feather with long neck and legs and can reach up to 1.9 meters or 6 feet and 3 inches in height. The Amos is an important cultural icon of Australia. Aquala is not a bear, but people commonly call them as a koala bear. Street climbing animals is a marsupial mammal with a pouch for the development of offspring. Though koala looks fuzzy, their hair is more like a coarse wool of a sheep. They have two opposing thumbs on their hands and both their feet and hands drew rough pads and close to grab onto branches. Koalas most likely live in the eucalyptus forest of southern, eastern, and eastern Australia. They are not sleeping, they're usually eating. They rely on the eucalyptus tree for both habitat and food. A eucalyptus is toxic, so the koala digestive system has to work hard to digest it, breaking down the toxins and extracting limited nutrients. 
That's why koalas sleep so much to get very little energy from their diet. Tuck into porks and knocks in the trees, koalas may sleep for 18 to 22 hours. Do you notice koalas usually don't drink much water as they get most of their moisture from these leaves or get from the eucalyptus trees? Koala are listed of vulnerability by International Union for the Conservative of Nature, which has named the species one of 10 animals most vulnerable to climate change. Increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increasing the nutritional quality of eucalyptus leaves, which is already quite low and causing longer, more intense droughts and wildfires. An Australian wildlife is known to be unique, which is probably why you want to make the long journey over the expiry with the Australian animals. Even though the emu is the second half of the Australian coat of arms, it is often overlooked when less makers note down their must-see birds and animals in Australia. As you may know, Australian animals are quite quirky when it comes to anatomy. Today's video is all about discovering about the native animals that you've never seen before. Marami pa akong i-feature about sa iba't ibang klase ng hayop, from the tallest native bird called emu to the cute creature koala and many more. Hoping to see you in my next class. Sana nagustuhan niyo ang episode na to. So that's it for today's video. But before I end this video, I would like to say I dream before, I explore now, and I will definitely discover more. All this you nice and kind. Bye!